Many people may not think twice about swallowing that glass of water or food, but for some people in our community, it's a challenge. Today in Health Matters, we introduce you to a group of people who are helping each other face this monumental task. Laughing, joking, eating, even sharing stories. This is more than just a group of friends getting together for lunch. This is a celebration. Some in various states of eating, but we are alive, and that's the, the whole thing. 81-year-old Charles Ward is one of them. He is currently undergoing vital stem therapy. This therapy uses small electrical currents that stimulate the muscles responsible for swallowing. I have to be very careful. I have to be careful what I eat and how I eat it. But at least I eat most things and it does go down. Stacy Brill is a speech pathologist. She brings vital stem patients and their spouses together for an annual lunch at Gulf Coast Medical Center to talk about their challenges and celebrate their successes when it comes to swallowing therapy. It's actually quite neat to be able to look around the room, see 50, 60 people that the majority of them when they started with you were, were on a feeding tube. They were dependent, they were eating nothing by mouth. And now to be able to sit down and share a meal with them um, and be able to see them eat, see the uh, weight that they've gained, especially the ones that you treated perhaps five years ago. For Charles and his wife Shirley, this event brings both physical and emotional healing. It's just nice to come and get together with people that we had seen at the same time my husband was taking therapy. It makes you feel better to see, as I said, all these people alive. Give you hope that you can keep going. Swallowing problems can lead to pneumonia, choking, dehydration, and other severe illnesses. For more information on swallowing therapy, you can call 239-768-8645. Reporting for Lee Memorial Health System, I'm John Bafar. These problems are common among stroke survivors and patients with head and neck cancers.